I'm Ben. I'm Mary. And we're the owners of Moto Camp Nerd. When this came about, I think because you are passionate about motorcycles, you, you like riding them, you don't necessarily, you know how to work on them, but you don't really want to work on them. <laughs> and camping, and you enjoy it. So when somebody calls, that's a big thing, is when somebody calls and they're asking questions about our merchandise, you explain to them everything about it and let them pick something out, and then you spend another half hour just talking about going riding. Yeah. So even though you don't get to ride much anymore, you do get a lot of, um, of, of conversation of living through other people in their rides. <laughs> yeah, right. Every customer that's come in has given us more feedback on their style of riding. Because I, when we opened this door, I understood that my style isn't the only one out there and it's not the best. It's the best for me and what I do, but everybody else has their own way of doing things. And so the more people I've rode with, the more people I've talked to and understanding of a bigger understanding of everybody from dual sport, off-road riders, or even just trail riders, all the way up to the big bikes who are sport touring, you know, and knowing what their needs are and, and then talking to them directly and asking them, you know, hey, what's your style of sleeping? What's your style of camping? Are you kind of one of those that you're just camping because it's cheaper than hotels and you just like to rack up the miles or you one that actually likes to go camping and kind of go for a hike in the middle of your ride during the day you know because you're gonna you want to kind of gear up differently for each scenario people come up and bring us gear that they have that they swear by and love and we get to see it and a lot there are things that we carry like we just got a tool set in and the reason we carry it is that the last show somebody brought it over and laid it out and Ben had already been researching it and looking at the tool set and they laid it out and let them, you know, actually hold it and touch everything. And then we were like, you know, yeah, we're gonna do this. Yeah. Cause other people have said yeah. it's a good one. And then after checking them out and seeing they were a good quality tool, we were like, yeah. And I think that guy said he helped somebody fix their motorcycle out on the field that the day before that day. That day, yeah. Yeah, so it was like, oh, okay, well, like this is a good set. <laughs> we both worked retail and she's she knows the retail side way better as far as the customer facing side, because I'm more worked in receiving. And so, but she knows, you know, the customer side of the customer service what side, makes so. good, yeah, yeah, what makes good customer service. I know what makes good customer <laughs> service too. So Cause just, because I'm a consumer, <laughs> yeah. And so I, we both together have really high expectations on what customer service should be in the, this day and age. So creating our business was thinking of that. And so having experiences before ordering something as simple as a t-shirt online from some small company and then you don't get it for three months and this is like I said pre-pandemic you know and, and it's like well wait why don't you tell us this it's like and go through the shipping information and so that all all those thoughts went into making the store and when we had the drop shipping option realizing it was gonna take eight weeks for delivery I'm like I'm not gonna charge somebody money and expect them to wait eight weeks for something to get there because that's just bad customer service all over. I know there's people out there that do drop shipping stores and they are very successful at it. It just was something that I didn't see fitting our, our customer base and knowing what I would do in those situations, assuming everybody else in the riding community does the same thing, that's not what I wanted for them. So we splurged, we scraped and pulled all of our money together and bootstrapped, um, started buying inventory. And then that's that's kind of when I pitched the idea of like, hey, let's start a motorcycle camping store that we actually hold the inventory. 